Um, hello everybody. It's me, Marquita. I am coming here to make a video. Um, the video I want to make is, once again, conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory. Um, it's actually about to be bad time. Oh, that did not help. That that didn't help. Okay, anyhow. Um I was coming here just to kinda make a observation um video. I made one about I made a video in this title, 45 and a half. And that one was about the book that just came out um, called Shadow President. And it's about like Pence um, believing ever since he was in high school that he should have been president. And then for some, like, and some how without him even casting a bill or anything in the Senate, he became vice president. Now, I think of all that as, like I said in multiple videos, Nikolai, um, <clears throat> and, um, Left behind Nikolai. That's that's what I'm talking about. And um, I was just looking at MSNBC, and they're now thinking about think thinking. Come on, what a T. Thinking about invoking the Twenty Fifth Amendment. Um, to impeach Trump. And if they do that, the vice president will step up. If I'm not mistaken, it will be president. Which goes along with Left Behind. With the end of days, the Antichrist. And I have always said from a couple of a couple of actions after uh, Trump got pre got nominated, I have always said, "Okay, that don't make no sense." Then certain things happen. Certain things happen. Certain things happen. I'm like, "Okay, somebody's telling him to say that." Somebody's telling him to do that. And what I was basing that off of was he will say what the last person that he talked to says. And the example that I'm going to say is he met with the Democrat. He met with a Republican. And I think it was the DACA bill. Please don't quote me on that. I'm thinking it was Dockerville. Um, and the Republicans talked. He was like, yeah, I agree. The Democrats talked. He was like, yep, I agree. Sound the paper. Like I said, he agrees with the last person that he talks to. So th since the Democrat, and I don't know which Demo Democrat it was, but he agreed with, with that Democrat. That's the last person he talked to. Not even an hour afterwards. What, Gary? Not even an hour after signing that paper, he talked to a Republican, then called down and revoked his signature for the DACA. Because he talked to a Republican since and so that was the person that he agreed with. Same thing when um, 
him Harado said something. Harado said something to him that morning. Something happened that afternoon. So he was Harado that morning by the by lunch or you know lunchtime. He was thinking one thing, agreed with that one person. He had dinner with Harado at seven o'clock that night at dinner. And at eleven o'clock he already flipped and started saying what Harado said. I do remember that. I don't remember what was said and I don't I don't remember the situation. But I'm saying this as examples of what I'm talking about. Um but like I know the end of days are near. And I really hope that I am taken. You know, that I'm not one of the ones left behind. But if I am, I will serve my God until the end. I will be his faithful servant. I don't think that I'm strong enough to be left behind. But if he thinks that I am, I'm going to have to respect that. And I'm going to have to be left behind. And if I am, I will fight beyond, beyond for him. But so I made this video because let's say that they do in, in that one video that I made the other day about the shadow, um, president, AKA 45 and a half. That's the type of the video. Um, and I said in the half because Pence is like the president in the half. But anyhow, let me get back on subject. I'm making this video because if they do invoke the 25th um, Amendment, it goes in line. It's That's what's supposed to happen. That's what's supposed to happen because that's the next step. Because, like I said... I reference everything back to three movies left behind the trilogy. Uh, the Seventh Sign. What was the third movie, Gary? Did I reference everything back to? I remember. I am so sorry, guys. I don't remember what it is. But there's three movies that I always quote, which my main movies that I always quote is left behind the trilogy filmed uh, from uh, me with Kurt Cameron. I just want y'all to say, like I said, no disrespect to Nicolas Cage. I don't know that version. I have never seen that version. I have seen Kurt Cameron's version. It's a festive version that I do reference. And the seventh sign I referenced that one because that was the first movie that I seen. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is scary. Um, but so the 25th Amendment, if they um, get that passed, Trump will be out. Vice President Pence will be in, a.k.a. Nikolai. That's what happened in the movie. He something happened and all of a sudden Nikolai became president. And he made peace with he made peace with the world. Like the world was at peace. And then no pun intended, but all the pun intended. All hell broke loose. And I'm just saying, if the 25th Amendment gets passed, Nikolai's in power. The Antichrist is in power. And I'm not saying that Pence is, but I have always said somebody is talking in Trump's ear. 
and I said it was it's either Kushner or Pence and I actually started with I started saying you know what I think it's both of them I think it's both of them I think they both are talking in his ear and then when was that last Thursday <clears throat> excuse me so a week ago I seen um, a video of them saying, and it might even been Monday. It was either last weekend, or like last week, or like this Monday to past today. Um, I guess it's before midnight. Um, so whenever, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, whatever. Um, what was I getting to that? Um, oh yeah, so so okay, that was Monday. Of them saying that Kushner is saying Trump doesn't listen to me anymore. He doesn't do what I want. And they were saying it like, oh, you know, Trump hurt Kushner's feelings. And I took that as I knew they both were in Trump's ear. And since that book is coming out, Shadow President. Shadow president. I was like, to me, I feel like God re re he revealed that to me because because I felt like I needed to see that I needed to hear that and I needed to feel like that I was just not crazy and maybe I am crazy, but to me, I found that as a sign that I might not be on the right track but I'm going in the right direction of my thoughts and I just want and I want God to know if that was a sign from him I receive it I receive it and I give it to the world because I feel like if he sent me that and I needed to see that and I needed to make a video, I feel like somebody needed to hear that. And I hope you, whoever, whoever you may be, I hope that you see this. I hope that you receive it. And I hope that the message gets to you. And I hope that I'm relaying the message to you the way that God needs me to. And what's confirmation? What that Ryan said on that one. Okay, what? He said G, uh, Jesus sent him to save Trump. Yeah, I told you to save the soul. To save the soul, like Jesus to save. The yeah, people. that was that was one of the things that um in the book he said that Pence said that. God told him when he was in high school or God sent a message to him that the reason why he was standing by Trump and the reason why he was letting Trump do what he needed to do and he wasn't saying anything and like stopping Trump because he felt like God, this is Pence, he felt like God sent him to Trump to save Trump so that was his words he said I felt like God um, wanted me to save Trump so you're not God pants you're not Nikolai whoever you are in the flesh you are not my Lord and Jesus my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ my Heavenly Father you are not that. So, you wolf that is in sheep clothing, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you back to where you come from. Because my God is way mightier than you are. He always will be. Always. 100 thousand billion percent always
but I thought I'd make that quick little video, even though it's not a quick video. But I wanted to make that video because I'm literally, I'm going to, I'm going to link the MSNBC video that I'm watching right now because I got it paused. I got, got my phone on split screen, so I'm, I got that video paused and I'm making my video on the, on the right side. Anyhow, I will put the link to this specific video and if I will remember I'll put the link to my video that I made 45 and a half and I will try to link the original video of shadow president also in the description I'm not for sure if I did in the 45 and a half I thought I did but if I didn't I will try my hardest to link it in in the description if i don't the segment is called shadow shadow president and i think it's on cnn if i'm not mistaken if I, just in case if i don't do it i think that's why i seen it cnn um and then there's another video on fox news of um and like i said i watch all the news channels and i don't have cable so i try to watch all the clips i try to watch the ones that are actually long so that just in case they cut a little clip wrong i want to see from the beginning to the end because i don't want to be caught off guard so um i would try to find that other video that i seen on fox news and that one was in reference to, um, I think it was North Korea. Oh. No, it wasn't North Korea. It was um, Russia. Um, the 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 one with the bomb, Gary. That Russia, is Russia. Yeah. Yeah, Russia. It was Russia. I'm gonna try to find that one. And I will link that in the video. Um, and the Russian one is that they have satellite evidence. And, or, is it satellite evidence? Like, what is it specifically that they show that it is pointed to a U.S. city? State and city. I don't, know, yeah. right um, I don't, I don't remember. I don't <clears throat> remember. I will try to find that because to me that was very important. And I do believe that was on Fox News. And y'all know Fox News don't even tell Donald Trump if his if the white circles around his eyes are too white. They tell him that he looks good when somebody needs to be smacked. Because y'all lie to that man. Y'all need to tell him. If y'all are his friends, don't send him out like that. Don't send him out. Y'all need to tell him, look, y you might need a Oh. Who was that? Go back to bed. Go to go, keep trying. Go to bed. Go lay down, go Van. Lay down. Please. You gotta go I'll to school in the morning. Then, before I go to sleep, I will check on you one more time. Now go to sleep. Relax. You've had everything you can have. You Anyhow, should be dropping. I'm gonna go because Van's up and walk around and she's supposed to be in bed. Uh, yes, 9.46. Yep. She's supposed to have been asleep an hour ago. Alright, hopefully y'all liked this video. And I guess I'm just the, the crazy brown bag cat lady. Whatever. I will take that title if, if I think that I'm supposed to pass this message on to God. Now, I'm not saying that God has spoke to me like with, with actual verbal verbal words what i consider the messages that i am receiving is things fall i what am i trying to say gary not that they follow my hand not that they follow my lap they're following they're following through the bible well, no, I'm saying, well, I'm saying, I'm not saying that, like, I'm getting a personal message from God. I feel like God knows what I'm thinking. God knows how I feel. And I feel like 
I I feel like the answers are being found and I want to pass them on. That's what I mean by I feel like I was supposed to see this because I feel like I'm supposed to pass it on because somebody else is supposed to hear it. That's how I really feel. I'm not saying that that's what it is, but that's just how I feel because, like I said, I reference and I try to be accurate and I always try to, if I see a video, I always try to put, to provide the video just in case I interpret, interpret it wrong. I am willing to be wrong, but I don't want to be right. And something happened when I could have prevented it. And I'm not saying like like an accident or anything. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying I don't want to know. I don't want to have a wild dream about um, an airplane going down. And I know the exact name, the exact, you know, whatever. And then I'm not saying anything when it's like. That Pacific plane goes down, and I could have saved somebody's life. No, I'm not saying that I have psychic abilities, and I'm not saying that that might that might be accurate. I believe in my dreams, and I think my dreams are very much signs of everything. I am. I try to be so in touch with my unconsciousness because I have a vivid imagination while awake that's why i can't go to sleep because my mind is constantly racing i can't sleep because my brain doesn't shut off and so anytime i have a dream just realistically the first thing i do is i sit up and i I literally go back. Okay, what's the first thing that I remember in that dream? And it might not make sense. And I might come on. I might. I had a dream about this. And it might be nothing. It might be crazy. But it might be something. That's all I'm saying.